Good morning. Um, my presentation will be focused on a model of integrating family planning within a community-based maternal and newborn healthcare program in CLED division and lesson learns and best practices scaling up through another maternal newborn care program in CLED in Bangladesh. Bangladesh made a lot of progress in last two decades. Uh, family planning program in Bangladesh is often cited a success program. Though as a whole, Bangladesh made a lot of progress, uh, but in some region like Silet Division is far away from the national in terms of health and family planning indicators. Unmet need, uh, contraceptive prevalence rate, and total fertility rate are higher in CLET division, though uh, age at marriage is high in CLET, but birth spacing um, is, uh, is lower in CLET division. In between 2002 to 2006, uh, we developed and tested an integrated model of community-based maternal neonatal healthcare program in CLED division. And uh, many publications uh, shows that 34% neonatal mortality reduced by this model. And one paper was the paper of Lancet in 2008. And we integrated postpartum family planning within this progenmo neonat uh, maternal neonatal healthcare program to reduce the um, uh, uh, to reduce the unmet need of family planning in this community. The study objectives are to develop and test integrated um, uh, model of family planning and maternal neonatal healthcare program to uh, assess the strength and limitation of integrating family planning into ongoing community-based maternal neonatal healthcare program, to assess the impact of intervention package on contraceptive knowledge and practice, including uh, CPR and method mix in different time points, to assess the impact of intervention package on birth spacing and its outcome. This is a quasi-experimental design with primarily evaluation through pre-post-test household survey. We selected eight unions randomly in select districts where family welfare visitors, the primary provider for family planning services are available. We select, uh, union is the lowest administrative unit with 20,000 population and a primary health care facility. And we selected, the, um, um, we enrolled around 4,500 pregnant women, both in intervention and comparison arm, half in intervention and half in comparison arm. And uh, in both arm, we have one community health care uh, provider for 4,000 population. And they are conducting maternal neonatal health care counseling during pregnancy and postpartum period and family planning counseling is integrated in intervention arm only. And we are following this cohort from pregnancy to 36 for a month after delivery. In the uh, pregnancy, community health worker made two counseling visits. They promote at least four antenatal checkup from skill provider and promote uh, clean and uh, safe delivery and counsel about other anti, um, antenatal um, package. And, and, and the day after delivery, within 24 hours, they also make another visit to um, provide the newborn care, and they make other four visit during first six months of delivery to promote exclusive breastfeeding, lactational amenorrheic method, birth spacing and uh, transition from a lamb to other methods. The delivery, uh, the intervention is delivering through community health worker and they make counseling, I told earlier that during antenatal and postnatal period and also in pregnancy surveillance. In many MNAs program, they have 
two monthly or three monthly pregnancy surveillance. So we integrated family planning component in this surveillance so that they do not need additional time to spend for the family planning. And on that, on that time, they counsel about family planning methods and dispense pill, condom, or injections and refer for long-acting permanent method to the facilities according to need of the, uh, according to the women's fertility intentions. And yeah, we have community mobilizers. They conduct advocacy and um, uh, group meetings with pregnant postpartum women, community leaders, including religious leaders, to sensitize the community about family planning. And we developed a group of volunteers they called LAM Ambassador. They are local champions, provide counselings, and promote LAM. Now I will show some basic results. Uh, we started in a area where family planning, uh, ever use of family planning methods is low, 18% in intervention arm compared to comparison arm, it was 21%. And if we look um, the contraceptive use rate at 3, 6, 12, and 18 months after delivery, it is significantly higher consistently higher in intervention arm compared to comparison arm. And this time after delivery up to 18, 24 months is the crucial time for the next pregnancy and for, for the outcome of the mother and newborn. And if we look the method mix, then we found that LAM is the main methods during first six months. Most of the women use lamb at three and six months, and later is shifted to other methods like uh, pill injections, and also um, from 1.3 percent long method um, sterilized uh, sterilization use at to 3.1 percent up uh, till 18 months. And if we look at the method mix in the uh, comp compression arm, then Pill and injections are the choice of methods from the women. Self-reported pregnancy incidence is also lower in intervention arms, and it gradually lower, and the difference is higher between intervention and comparison arms uh, in times. Like in 18 months, it is significantly lower in intervention arm. So does integrating family planning adversely affect MNA's program? If we look the two indicators of newborn care, like drying wrapping of newborn within 10 minutes, it's higher in intervention arm, and early initiation of breastfeeding is also higher in intervention arm. Both are significantly higher. So maybe client satisfaction is one of the issues to increase this MNA's indicators as in the intervention arm. If we look the um, exclusive breastfeeding, then it's also higher in intervention arm. And if we sterified this um, lamb user and long, um, lamb user in intervention arm, then it's more significant in intervention arms to pro uh, exclusive breastfeed their babies. So what lesson we learned from this study? We learned that feasibility of integration of family planning within a community-based MNH program is an effectiveness of the model to increase modern family planning method used during the postpartum period till 18 months, which is the uh, crucial time for mother for uh, pregnancy. For, uh, if they preg got pregnant, then they are the higher risk for mother and newborn as well. No notable negative effect on the delivery of MNA service, rather it improves, and positive effects of lamb promotion on the duration of exclusive breastfeeding. Now I will. Uh, so, what are the best practice of this study? The uh, antenatal and postnatal home visit by community health worker, and to promote healthy timing and spacing of pregnancy, promotion of lamb and transition, return to fertility messages community meeting targeting husbands and mothers-in-law because they are the decision maker in the family in, in Bangladesh and in most of the South Asian countries, and provision of pill, condom, and injection through trained community health worker. 
So what are the research gap, the cost of integrating family planning in MNA's program? We are planning to do it soon. So now I will tell you about some uh, lesson learned from this model to another mod uh, program in Silet districts. You know that um, MCHIP Mamoni program is working in Silet and uh, from the healthy fertility study lesson learned and best practices we integrated in the Mamoni program and the intervention are more or less similar. So I am telling that uh, in, in the Mamoni, we conduct one baseline in 2010, and after seven months, we conduct another progress assessment. And in baseline, the CPR was 34%, and after seven months, it was 51%. And the unmet need for contraception, both for limiting and spacing, is reduced a lot from 42% to 25%. So in uh, what healthy fertility studies contribution, uh, we revitalized the postpartum family planning in Bangladesh and also lactational amenoric method. And two weeks ago, we have a dissemination uh, in this room about um, 2011 Bangladesh Demographic Health Survey. We found that Bangladesh made a lot of progress uh, though CLED division is far away from the national, like TFR in Bangladesh is now 2.3, but CLED division it is 3.1. So maybe healthy fertility study or its best practices is one of the solution for scaling up in CLED division. Thank you.